Susa, if not strong, resilient, and breaking the rules, woman. Walk with me. Kurshud Banu Natavan, a celebrated Azerbaijani poet, Khan Gazi, meaning Khan's daughter, woman's right champion. She left an indelible mark on Susa's history. Her two-story house, an 18th century architectural marvel, became the birthplace of the Shusha Music School in 1932, a pioneering institution initiated by Bulbul. In 1987, the house underwent restoration, birthing a house museum of Khushudbanu Natavan, a cultural treasure awaiting restoration once again, bearing the scars of the occupation years. Natavan's legacy, marked by a 10 kilometer long water pipeline known as the Spring of the Khan's Daughter, showcases her not only as a poet but also as a compassionate force addressing the needs of her people. While Natavan is leading to a checkmate, Dumar himself, let's move to the next heroine. The daughter of the last Khan of Karabakh, Ibrahim Khan Gufharaba, revered for mosque construction and humanitarian deeds. She was also one of the most famous philanthropists of her time. The Ashari Lower Gufharaba Mosque was built at her expense. Unfortunately, during the occupation, the building and minarets came under heavy fire and then were used as a pigsty. The Yuhari, or Upper Gophar Aga Mosque, built about eight years later, continued the artistic legacy of its predecessor. The minaret, though made of natural limestone, bore unique geometric ornaments, a departure from the Ashari Gophar Aga Mosque's decorations. The stories of this remarkable woman illuminate the past, leaving an enduring legacy etched in the very soul of Karabakh. They paved the way for us so that today we can proudly say there is simply not enough time for me to talk about Azerbaijani women. Arzu Jaid, exclusive for the Caspian Post. <laughs>